Camino de Santiago is a pilgrimage with various starting points across Europe to Santiago de Compostela, where St. James's remains were said to be discovered in the 9th century. We decided to take the Portuguese coastal way, starting in Porto. A quick update. Quick update. Quick update. <laughs> is it day six? It is day six uh, yeah. of the Camino. All the days are blurring together now. Yeah. <laughs> Which Especially is good. Yesterday it felt like three days. That's, you, that's what you want. You kind of want to lose sense of time Yeah. on a, on a holiday. Uh, yesterday didn't feel much like a holiday though. Because um, how far did we go in the end, Holly? 30 kilometers. Come on, chime in here. Come on. 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers. There you go. We got 40, something like 45,000 steps. It was a good day. Um, we've done it before, and honestly, like, that wouldn't be too abnormal of a day for us, but the whole, pretty much the whole way of uh, the Camino Portuguese is this, like, cobbled stone. And then, that's, that's if you're lucky, really. Yeah, sometimes there's asphalt. Yeah, sometimes it's just straight up road. And then after those 45,000 steps, you really start to feel it. Yeah, two albums got us through that day. <laughs> Dwellings and neighborhoods. Dwellings scars, and. Just a shout out. <laughs> and uh, some nice metal music. Yablo Scars from Australia. We wouldn't have done it without them, to be honest. No. <laughs> yeah, it helps you, helps you dig deep a little bit. Hey, if anybody has got recommendations for albums that have got them through hard parts of a hike, can you leave it in the comments? Because it'd be interesting to see what other people use to help them. Yeah. Go ahead and pop that in the comments. But yeah, we're on day six. We're going to head to Spain today, actually. Yep. We're we'll going to cross the border over at Aguarda. We have to take a ferry once we get there, and yeah, we'll, next time we talk to you, we'll be in Spain. Okay, you can go. Good morning everyone. Well, I suppose it's, uh, it's the afternoon now. Buena, buenos dias, buenas tardes. Buenos dias. We are in Spain. Uh, you will see that we crossed over yesterday, so this is our first official day um, from the morning in Spain. Where are we going today? Going to a place called Poya. Not much to update you on. We met a nice couple from California. Sandy and Roy. Sandy and Roy, shout out. Shout out. I killed off like half of the hike just talking to them. <laughs> yeah, time flies when you're just chatting and they were really nice. Yeah, I didn't even like look up to see if we were going the right direction. I was just hoping you guys in front of us were <laughs> yeah, paying I attention. Was, I was following the signs. So I was just like, after like 30 minutes, I was like, are we going the right way? <laughs> the trail's getting slightly busier as we approach the last 100, 100 kilometers. Uh, and the coastal and the main Portuguese route uh, meet up. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit 
busier. But see you guys later. Peace. All right, so we just had a little bit of a adventure, I guess, that we are gonna tell you about now. We got the drone stuck, like really high up, in one of these trees. We were just filming in a normal shot. I, and I, uh, I was walking along and I had the controller and I guess I just flew it too high and it just hit a branch. And uh, it it's done branch. it before, and it's just kind of like ricocheted off the branch, or I've caught it in time, and uh, no damage done. But um, I guess this time it just it got stuck anyway. It got <laughs> stuck really high up, and it was a uh, my first instinct was to climb the tree. Well, <laughs> turn the drone on again and see if it would fly up. Yeah. But something happened to the motors when it uh, happened, so the propellers must have gotten stopped by some of the branches or leaves and it just sort of shut off and I had some kind of error and I couldn't start it. Anyway, I couldn't start the drone, so yeah, first, second instinct was to climb the tree. And the first branch snapped off instantly, yeah. so that was a no. The tree was just completely, uh, just, yeah, it was just not, it was, first of all, it didn't really have any branches going up it. And I'm not a, I'm not really a ninja, so. I think that it had to be up about 25 feet in the air as well. It was, yeah. It was pretty high. It up. was pretty high up. So we've just spent an hour throwing rocks and sticks at the drone, uh, trying to get it down. And. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, it was just too high for me to get that, the stick up, high enough. I could get the aim right, but it kept sort of just going underneath it and then probably like the hundredth throw <laughs> I just toss the stick up hit it didn't expect to actually hit it yeah just because <laughs> you've done something a hundred times and and uh, you're not expecting anything to happen after that it just dislodged and it was <laughs> I went fast. it happened pretty fast <laughs> I went diving for it and I just missed it um, yeah. And it's like snap. I should have played more baseball as a kid, I think. Yeah, so now we have a drone that has a snap leg. Uh, we'll show you guys the uh, the damage. Uh, yeah. It's sad. It's sad. No more drone shots for the rest of the Camino, <laughs> unfortunately. Unless there's some like random <laughs> drone, Spanish drone repair guy yeah. in one of these little towns that we're in. Just wanted to, to throw you guys. I wish it was like a, a nice update, like a nice, <laughs> yeah, it's a nice sunny day. But those kind of things happen, you just kind of have to remain calm and kind of like weigh up your options. And we only had one option <laughs> and uh, eventually you try enough times, it's going to work. And it did work, but uh, we're leaving with a little bit of a repair bill. But things could be worse, I guess. 
yeah. Like I said, I'd rather, Scott said he was, should have gone for it harder in catching it, but we'd rather a broken drone leg than a broken Scott leg. <laughs> we're still on the road. We're still, uh, still on the Camino. Yeah. Still on the way to Santiago. It's not. And lessons learned. Yeah. <laughs> don't dry your, don't fly your drone into a tree. We were now past the midway point in our journey and only 85 kilometers from the end. We'd lost an important part of our equipment, but we were determined not to let that sour the rest of the way. We made do with our Sony ZV-1 and phones, and we're excited to show you the next video, where we cover the run-up to our final goal, Santiago de Compostela. As always, this will be available next Saturday at 6pm UK time and 1pm EST. Thanks for so joining with us.